How are you guys? This is uh, JP Saturday once again coming to you with another review. But this time I have something totally different, something that um, I was actually not expecting to do. But uh, I'm really um, I'm glad and I'm honored to review this time. Um, and before I go into this, uh, into detail about this book, I just want to I wanna say thank you. Um, in this case, to the person that provided provided me with this book. His name is, uh, uh, in the forums, his name is Kurgan. Um, uh, he's a friend from Italy. Uh, his name is Sandro Ianiello. Um, and I'm extremely glad that he was, uh, he trusted me with something that it was very precious to him, very, of, of, of a lot of personal value. And I want to share that to, uh, to everybody. That's the reason why I have this book in my hands. Uh, Book. This is not a book that you can find in any store. It's not for sale. And to be honest, I have never seen that before from another collector. So that's the reason why I contacted him. And he was kind enough to uh, provide this book to me and send it all the way from Italy. So I was able to uh, do this review and share this with the community. With the people, in, not just in my, in my channel, but on different forums. Um, you can see this dust jacket. It says right there, my own. Marvel Statues Collection. And here on the back, as you can see right there, uh, uh, is the back of the bus. Book, I haven't seen books like this in a very long time. You can see the bind, the binder. It's great quality. It's just a great, cool quality binder. This is uh, pretty much cloth. Um, and here is a picture, in this case, of the collector. This is Sandro. And this is an introduction, of course, all in Italian, what he does for a living. Uh, he lives in Rome. Uh, with his family and there's a dedication in this to his family uh, his daughters and his wife and a dedication to statues uh, community forum that's a community Ita italian based community and here's an introduction he introduces himself how he got into into this hobby uh, in his passion for marvel and the first one of all this uh, you can see there's a picture of iron man maquette a beautiful Iron Man maquette uh, for Iron Man 2 uh, this is honestly it's a, it's a, to me that's the best um, Iron Man statue out there personally that's my personal taste I love the movie was okay but this piece was just it was amazing you know and uh, you know this was actually for Sideshow this was um, um, actually created uh, by Legacy Effects the ones that actually created the effects for the movie and they uh, partnered with um, Sideshow to create this beautiful piece beautiful piece uh, as you can see right there he lights up and everything is beautiful I like the way the pictures that he had in there he took nice very nice shots and close-up shots you know I love uh, ph photography um, you know, and I can recognize when somebody does it with the best quality and he did such an amazing job. You know, I, lo I love this uh, this picture. This is great. The way the, the light up and the repulsors in the hand, the angle, you know, it's such a, such a beautiful piece created by, by, by legacy effects and sideshow. And you can see right there, this picture, this picture is nice. I love this picture. I can tell you that. Um, and you know he has a lot of information, uh, great quality. Now this is the the very famous and old school Spider-Man premium format that came out back in 2006. Beautiful piece, as you can see right there. A lot of people didn't like the you know this is in the beginnings when Sasha was still trying to really work the premium format um, uh, well. You know so you know it might not seen it was not as perfect as other pieces that are come out now but i can see one thing the quality of the paint as you can see right there the quality of the sculpt really make this piece well, you know as you can see the paint job in the hands you know the the base um great you know it's such a great thing i love this uh base i love this piece there was actually the exclusive came with a camera that hang from his neck um, there was another negative sewn version that it was more exclusive and actually I'm not a fan of that that a lot of people said so a lot of people will tell you that that was the ugliest of all uh, but it's so extremely exclusive that it's hard to find I think they were just probably I think 75 made worldwide something like that it was just uh, it's, it's very low number uh, but as you can see there's a lot of pictures that he took beautiful angles beautiful shots um, I can tell you one um, that base is, is phenomenal. Wolverine, and I owned this piece before. I sold it a few years back. A beautiful piece. I liked it, but I sold it. I got a little tired of it. You know, I, I changed my, 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 my displays a lot. You know, I tend to do that. Um, 
Some days I miss it. I wish I could go back into collecting more Sideshow like I used to probably in the future. You never know. Uh, it depends. But this is a beautiful piece. And he has the exclusive port. Uh, I love the, the claws, metal claws, beautiful metal claws. And as you can see right there, a lot of people didn't like the, they call it the pajama effects. They didn't like the clothing. But you know what? It's, 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 the truth about premium formats is that they try to make it as more as realistic as possible. And you know what? You know, that makes it realistic to me. I really enjoy it. And this is just the regular head. It's still, if you have the regular of the exclusive, the exclusive is beautiful. You have the, the, the ability to change both. Go for it. But uh, still, if you only have the regular, you don't, you have a good deal. You know, it's a great great looking piece and I love it and another thing that I mentioned before I love about what that piece is that there was texturing in the arms that that resembled the hair in his arms that was beautiful you can see the veins popping uh, I could tell you this is this, this one of the to me this is one of the best uh, premium formats that have created uh, regardless of what some people think mostly if you have um, also to display it together with uh, saver too now here's the Captain America premium format uh, he, this is what the, the the exclusive portrait, the, the old classic version of Captain America is beautiful. I love this Captain America. This is the best Captain America you can find anywhere. Beautiful, you know, everything that was done. This is the exclusive shield, the old uh, V-type shield. And here is just the regular with the regular portrait and the round shield uh, that now we all know. Uh, on the regular, it's there with, uh, on top of the old Ultron head, but on um, the exclusive came with a Nazi helmet and he's stepping on top of it. So, beautiful, I, I can tell you this. Here's a, a shot where there's just two compare with each other. Right here you see Red Skull, the premium format. Uh, this is an amazing, amazing portrait. The way they did the sculpt the face is just Fantastic, just the way Saisha knows how to do it. You know, has all the detail from the cane with the skull, you know, very famous cane, the cigar, all the symbols, and you know, the Nazi symbols, the, the uniform, all the clothing is perfect. The base, um, the hand, the Mauser, you know, the, the in his back, you know, it's just it's just the Mauser gun. And it's just amazing. This piece is just fantastic. You know, honestly, you know, just this is museum quality. This premium format is just museum quality. Now, the exclusive one came with the uh, Cosmic Cube. Uh, so it comes with an arm that is holding the Cosmic Cube. So it's interchangeable. That's the only difference uh, with um, the this has. But it, all of that, you know, you can see the piece. It, it's a it's an outstanding looking piece, you know. Spider-Man comic kit. This is a Grail, definitely a Grail that is just hard to to get nowadays. It's just a beautiful piece. I know that Eric Sosa created beautiful piece, and a lot of people have even tried to compare Eric Sosa with this. And I said they're in different levels. That one represents uh, the art of Mark Farland in, in a different time era and a different scale. And this is just to me personally, this is the top of the line. This is the best Spider-Man, even better than the premium format. Uh, the quality, the way they was put it in the on top of that, um, crawling the wall, you know, hanging from there, the quality of it, you know, everything is just a magnificent piece. It is a magnificent piece. Uh, and, you know, that, you know, something that I can say about Sasha, you know, something that I have for the last few years, Sasha has kind of played it safe. They haven't really put as much effort like they used to. And, you know, as you can see this wall, you know, the brick wall and everything. It's just the detail on that base is magnificent. This base does not take away from the piece. It just adds more dimension to it. Uh, you know, if you look at that, it's just, it's just fantastic. The way they did it, the way it was done, it's just amazing. You know, and here he takes, uh, Sander took some shots of his hand beautiful shots this has some little weird fingers all crawling like this uh but still you know it's amazing you know the face the you know yeah it has no nose but in reality some of some people that have drawn uh, spider-man they don't you know it has to be drawn with a nose but look at that look at the walls and if in, in the back it, 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 he didn't have a shot of the background but if you go all the way on the bottom there's even a, a power outlet it's just it's just an outstanding outstanding piece it's, it has so much detail so much beauty hopefully one day i can own it and one day when i own it i'm telling you i'm gonna have a review a long review of it because i'm gonna go one detail after the other and this is the venom comic kit that goes along with it beautiful 
it's such amazing to me this is the best venom out there the detail it's amazing that face the mu the muscular uh definition uh, the base you know it's just it's just an outstanding looking piece you know it's a humongous piece but it's beautiful this is what you call beautiful um the this is pieces this comic gets they came with a, the, the the exclusive ones they came with a printout in this case it was based on the art of ariel olivetti and actually ariel it was actually the art um that was the inspiration for this statue so it's just amazing you know just love it i just love the color of this beautiful color and to be honest um Sandro uh, took some beautiful pictures of that. Look at that face, you know, it's just that tongue and those teeth, you know, it's just it's just a scary, if it's a scary portrait, but you know, that's what actually Venom is, a scary, scary villain. Uh, look at that, you know, just the angles are perfect. And uh, it's just amazing. And also he owns a Carnage. I've never been a fan of Carnage, but looking at that, you know, this, you can see the, the, the pain work done there is just perfection perfection uh you know to be you know Saisha knows you know they know how to produce good stuff when they wanted to when they really want to and they put effort on it they create some of the best looking pieces out there you know nobody else can compete with them here we have the their devil comic uh beautiful piece actually uh you know it's just i'm not gonna tell you that it's one of my favorite ones but it, it is a great looking piece and as you can see it's on top of this um you know um um, this actually on a cemetery and it's just a great looking piece and actually uh, this one comes with um, epitaphs you know comes with some uh, plaques where you can change the name of his father Jack Murdoch uh, also Electra and there's a third one uh, there's an empty one uh, but as you can see you just the, the detail the amount of detail on this peel is beautiful the exclusive version comes with a sweet child portrait and like you can see it's just Matt Murdoch just his face without the the mask and uh cares with the mask and also has a different arm a different hand holding his mask the base is, is so i think one of the best parts of this piece is just it plays well it works all together works perfectly creates a, a really nice looking piece uh this is the iron man classic comic kit a beautiful comic kit this is the exclusive one he has the the portrait what he shows uh, in this case just without the mask without the iron man mask uh beautiful you know it's just it's just beautiful this is one of the most beautiful comic kits that you see there you see the quality of the paint with the american flag beautiful the design is amazing you know just there's one of those things where you say that you know and you can you know you can say clearly that Saisha knows how to produce these beautiful looking pieces you can see the detail the level of detail the color is perfection uh, one thing I like about this is that the eyes are sculpted inside that mask you know that's amazing that's something that I like when companies go all out and they produce these beautiful looking pieces and of course Sandra took the time to put a lot of information beautiful information and as you can see those eyes very clear in there uh, this one piece that i would like to have one day and i would like to review properly this is a classic extra heavy 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 classic that everybody wants here's the gray version there's uh two versions i think the regular version and the very exclusive gray one and sandro has both and you know i can tell you that you know you have such such an amazing piece it's such beautiful 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 representation of jack jack kirby's uh hulk as you can see those fingernails the paint job is just flawless all that shading that's proper shading uh sometimes people i heard many people say that they don't like shading on statues but to be honest without shading a lot of this paint just will be so flat that it's not appealing but looking at that you know here's the the gray version as you can see with the pans it works perfect you know this is such a grail such a perfect piece as you can see the pans everything this is what a premium format should be you know the quality what you're paying for and actually the prices back in the day to be honest like that's when you really look look at that hand look at that it's just it's just just perfect and to be honest like a lot of some people say and complain about the new prices nowadays for some of these hollow pieces compared to the solid massive pieces you know sometimes you're trying to figure out what is the reason i know the economy has changed but you know, back in the day, you pay a lot of money for these beautiful pieces. You pay a lot of money, but now you're paying a lot more, more for really a lot less. You know, so that really kind of 
make you ask that question and as you can see those beautiful eyes so well painted beautiful eyes and you can see all that the teeth all the marking even you can see the pores in his skin it's just it's just it is just an amazing looking statue you know of course beautiful and he provides a lot of information these beautiful shots uh, sandra I, I cannot I'm, I'm really praising your photography uh skills are, are tremendous are great you know you are really providing some a lot of beautiful shots and you can see right there. here's the wolverine comic kit uh it's another piece um one of the first actually comic kits back in i think it was in 2007 um it is completely sculpted of course and you can see it's beautiful everything the markings with the the tiger stripe uh uniform the classic uh everybody knows as classic wolverine suit and he has also the exclusive as you can see comes with the 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 portrait the different face the unmasked face uh this is the regular and mask beautiful you look at that mouth the tongue the teeth just per perfect and then you look at that just amazing it's, it's great you know this is something that puts Saisho like I'm gonna repeat it again and again put Saisho apart from any other company it's just the quality that they can produce um, of course these are older pieces but when Saisho gets to it they can really produce some of the most beautiful pieces in the market paint wise sculpt wise uh the quality uh when they really decide to do it they do it and they deliver so that's something that you know you know companies need to learn from now this is the grail of grails uh back in 2005 dr doom this is by um uh, martin canale and the gore group they produced this beautiful beautiful piece you know i've never been a fan of dr doom i'm not a fan of this piece i wouldn't put the money on it but it is to me to look at it it is worth it it's just the detail it's amazing this is how True premium formats with media should work. The quality of the material that was used was it was tremendous. Looking at this piece, looking at every single detail. The back of all the details that come in his throne is just amazing. The color was done to perfection. The paint job was perfect. You can see all this bronze color, all this detail, real so realistic. And that's what premium formats should be, real very realistic. Now the exclusive version came with this pedestal and this uh grail or you know the chalice and this you know this is of course the premium uh this is the the exclusive version beautiful it's just amazing the work i i can tell you what they never was a, the one thing i never like about this piece was the the feet and i don't like the feet because they're kind of big compared to the rest of the body but the truth is that the piece is so well done that you really don't pay attention to that that's just uh, it's minimal uh, because you're looking at the whole overall thing look at that face look at that paint job look at the eyes it's just the detail on this piece is just amazing the back of the throne you can see there on the side of the throne uh you know look at this you know it's it just perfect you know this is so much detail done on this piece the chalice you know the exclusive chalice is just amazing this is one of the things that you really know and I say, Sandra, congratulations for having such a beautiful piece. You know, congratulations for all the pieces that you have. For your collection, is is just amazing. I'm always been a fan of Thor, one of my favorite characters of the Marvel Universe. This is, as you can see, uh, race uh, flying to the sky. This is the, the exclusive. It has, you know, the mask. And, of course, the Mjolnir, uh, his hammer. It's just beautiful. This also was done by Martin Canale and the Gore Group. And I can say Martin Canale produced some of the best, most beautiful statues. Has produced some of the most beautiful statues for Sideshow Collectibles. As you can see right there, the Mineer when they're scribing and, you know, the whosoever holds his hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. It's amazing. It's just, it's not like it when when that detail is, is put into the hammer. It's just beautiful. You know, you can see all that. One thing that I never really like about this this piece was the fact that it's just the way that it's raised above. Uh, there's only two options to display. You have to display it above you or you have to display it under you, uh, on the bottom. But the problem is if you put them on the bottom, that takes away the magnificence of this piece. Uh, but if you put it above, then you can really look at the detail. So that's one of the more weird things. But regardless of what it is, this is a great looking piece with so much detail. That's one of the best capes ever created. Um, to be honest for any other statue out there and as you can see he shows different angles beautiful angles beautiful work some close-up on the face 
as you can see right there beautiful blue eyes right there the beard uh, all the detail on the wings oh it's just it's just fantastic and this is just a regular face beautiful piece how I, I love you know this this tour and it you know deserves to be a grail and it is a grail you know for a lot of co 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 collectors out there now he has also the life-size bus like the one that we have on the dust jacket as you can see it has a picture uh, it has with LED lights uh, this is was pretty much came out on what the movie came out I've never been a fan of bust um, but you know I, I recognize the beauty of some of them and this is one of them it's the Captain America this is actually one of my favorite bus it's just look at the detail the skin the pores everything you know such an amazing job also by the gore group by Martin Canale it's such a beautiful looking bus and you know I don't collect that but if I ever get into collecting bus uh, that will be probably one that I will have to get because it's just amazing it's just the amazing job everything that was done for this bus see the fantastic four diorama one of the first dioramas that um, that was created for for the, com the companies that are created I think this was done back in 2007 if I'm not mistaken um, beautiful and I'm not going to tell you that I'm a completely fan of the thing in this diorama but I like how Sue Storm looks in there and as you can see has a close up this is a very small diorama but the detail is there um, of course it's not as perfect as in other pieces I can tell you that um, but of course the little size it just makes it uh, a classic really and of course like I said he gives a lot of information there's another close up right there beautiful and this is the exclusive uh, comes with a translucent um, figure of Sue Storm as you can see it right there and this is actually my favorite right here the Wolverine, Wolverine vs. Sabretooth diorama it's my favorite of all the dioramas ever created by Saisha one of the best pieces back in 2005 back in you know one of the first dioramas they created I, I'm not sure if it was the first one but one of the first ones that they created uh, it's such an amazing looking piece. At, after this day, I still in awe of this piece. And this angle, this shot is perfect. It shows this eternal b battle between Sabretooth and Wolverine in and, and, and all his glory. And here's the, the Sweet Child portrait for the exclusive that you can change the face. Um, you know, to be honest, the best one is just the regular. Um, when you can just the regular portrait. But having that option is just amazing. I love, I love this picture that he took right here. Sandro, you know, I can tell you, Sandro, you know, I'm amazed by your work. You're, you're a good photographer, and you should do this more often, honestly. Uh, but look at that, you know, look at the different angles. Look at that, you know. It's just it's just amazing. It's, it's perfect. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's a perfect battle, but the truth is that I see Wolverine. He's all over Saber too. you know. He is the clear winner on this battle, you know. A short little fella, but, you know, he's taking charge and just amazing the way everything. And here you can see a pic uh, in this picture, so... On the back, you know, all the muscles well defined. Um, this is, I think, close to a one six scale, uh, probably a little shorter, but it's close, very close to it, and it's just beautiful. You see all the snow, the snowy terrain, beautiful base, you know, beautiful. There's even snow in his boots, you know. He did such a um, Martin Canale did such a great job with this piece. It's, an, it's such an amazing. This is one a must have for all, whoever. Um, owns a uh, side show and one that I will get one day and I will have the honor to re uh, review for you I'm sure I will um, as you can see oh it's beautiful you know all the detail it's amazing here we have um, this is the Spider-Man vs. Venom diorama this is another uh, cool diorama actually this is the regular actually the 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 uh, exclusive version has Eddie Brock's face. Like, this is the only one you're going to see where most collectors are looking for the regular instead of the exclusive. Um, that tells you how good the regular is, is compared to the the other one. And it's just beautiful. I really like it. You know, it's, just, it's a battle, as you can see, Spider-Man pretty much really taking charge. And in this battle, he's actually, be, you know, giving Banner a run for his money. You know, he has his tongue cold he's holding his tongue pretty much breaking his fingers right there on this side as you can see and also pretty much um, holding with his uh, with his foot uh, foot holding this other arm it's coming out of a cheap knee it's just it's a beautiful diorama it's just it's, it's wonderful this is another diorama Captain America versus Red Skull uh, very classic very hard to come by you know it's just it's small but he has so much detail as you can see um, all the way this is a battle you know pretty much not really a battle because the truth is the Captain America is just kicking uh, Red Skull's butt um, 
I'm not. Uh, you can see all the detail in the boots. It's amazing. Red Skull's face, pretty much, is being beaten. Uh, he's uh, Captain America yelling. The detail is amazing. You see the pouches on his belt. Look at that in the background. All the skulls on the side of the stairs. It's just very amazing. A very classic battle. Uh, the exclusive version of these, uh, he's holding, uh, he has a switch out arm where he's holding um, the cosmic cube. So the detail is there in a small piece, but it's beautiful. You know, it's just one of those dioramas, uh, great, great dioramas. And the, the shots taken by, by Sandro are just breathtaking, you know, just amazing. This is another one, Thor versus Loki. Um, very... Um, this is iconic. This came out from one of the comics. I forgot the name of the comics. I, I think it's Lucky Story or something like that. Um, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. Look at that. You know, it's just the, the detail. It's a tiny piece. And really not as uh, appreciated as other pieces are. And there's some lacks on it. It was because some of the paint was not as good as other dioramas. But regardless of that, it's still, uh, you know, it's very vivid, it's very dynamic. Uh, that's a very ugly face from Lucky No Teeth. And that's the expression. He's really upset, as you can see, Thor. Uh, but it, it is, it is, it is, it is, the detail is there. Uh, one of the reasons a lot of people complain about is that they didn't have this, the inscription on the Thor, on, on the, on the Mioneer. This piece did not have an exclusive version. So I think there were like 1,500 pieces made worldwide and try to find them nowadays. It's just hard to find them unless you go to, you know, of course, eBay and pay a little penny for them. And this is another, the uh, Namor versus Iron Man, the Submariner. Uh, this is a beautiful piece. Uh, one of my favorite, one of the, those that are not really as appreciated as other pieces but I think it's one of the most beautiful ones uh, as you can see the Submariner pretty much in that pose and that attack pose is beautiful and look at that face it's I think one of the best faces ever done I think it's even better than the piece I think the the comic kit that was created some years prior for uh, for Submariner that is also hard to find but I don't think it was as, as good as this face expression this face I'm not too crazy about it because it's so small it's hard to put a detail on it but it's okay actually the exclusive one had a, a sweet child um, figure of uh, Iron Man that actually um, to represent I think the Silver Age Iron Man that has like a little horns coming out uh, uh, on the, in the front of his helmet right here um, but the, the difference between that and this one were so minimal that the truth is that, you know, you don't have to have both. Um, you can have just regular. But one thing I love about this is the water effect that was used, this resin that was used. And there's some detail, you know, beautiful shots that taken by Sandro that shows that beautiful detail. But the water effect on this piece is just, I think, the, the selling point of this piece is just amazing you know beautiful you know it's just well done this is a well done diorama i really miss dioramas i wish sideshow was going back to do some dioramas they're not doing it right now uh, as you can see x-men versus sentinel uh, number one this is the best of the three the, the series that they have and of course you know the regular uh, version don't, don't have the light up features but um just uh, the exclusive one has a light up feature that is, is very cool but the truth is that even without it this piece is just amazing it's perfection i think it's just it deserves to be one of the best and most difficult to find dioramas for sideshows you can see right there colossus is just magnificent all the construction just colossus in itself is just great uh, amazing you know the detail the paint application that was done is just perfect the piece is just perfect that expression uh, the face even of um, in this case of Cyclops that uh, that um, Sentinel head, you know, just pretty much tore to pieces destroy completely destroy By the X-Men it's just amazing, you know, if you have the three of them together display together That's a good thing But even if you don't have them if you just only have these pretty much you have everything you need It's such an amazing looking piece. It doesn't really you know, it can be a centerpiece for any other piece you can act display. And actually, because of the size, it can be displayed with other pieces. So it's just it's just beautiful. Now, this is another one that is a, a total gray, uh, grail, the Hulk versus Spider-Man diorama. Love this piece. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about this piece, it seems that Spider-Man is a little small compared to uh, Hulk, you know, compared to Hulk, because Hulk is massive. But that just, uh, the, the, the scope of this piece is amazing. He's destroying that completely, that ground. You know, the exclusive comes with a light up feature that actually is not as necessary. Just the regular does it pretty well. You don't need it. 
uh, like many people say, you know, light off features die eventually, and you know, you cannot really change the batteries or change anything without destroying the piece. So, you know, what's the point? Uh, but beautiful. Look at that back. Look at that that figure. It's just amazing. You know, it's just he is so massive. I wouldn't consider this a versus. Um, uh, statue because the truth is that you know Spider-Man has no no chance with you know Hulk on this one it's just amazing one of the problems that a lot of these pieces had uh, a lot of people came is that the, the, the fingers were broken for a lot of people uh, the way they came in the, the star form that came in the box so the, a lot of people were having problems and they have to glue them or they have to um, in this case, uh, put a, a new sculpt into the hands, just trying to fix the problem. But the truth, um, but you know, because the truth, like I said, you know, uh, Spider-Man is very tiny. But uh, other than that, you know, regardless of what it is, it's just an amazing, amazing um, good statue. It's an amazing diorama. And look and see, even though he's so small. You know, and I seen so uh, so small. Spider Man has a lot of detail. It's beautiful. You know, hopefully in the future, Sandra, you can do that a book where you can have play with displays and create some effects. It will be great because that's what he did with this. He tried to do on here against like, a battle between Iron Man. Um, in this case, the uh, the legacy effects Iron Man versus the the in this case the Hulk the premium format. Beautiful piece. And here in the back, he has pretty much a shot of every single piece that he. They were they are part of this collection. Uh, what I can say now, just to conclude this, let me put this back together right here. I can say that I'm really amazed uh, for this book. I'm amazed of the work of Sandro. Uh, Sandro, I know you watching this video. Uh, I want to say again, thank you for allowing me to 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 review this book. I think it means a lot to you, and it means a lot to me to be able to share what you have done with other collectors. Um, I would say, uh, again, and I will say it, it's a privilege, it's an honor to review something that is precious to you. And it is an honor to me to be able to own this book that I know it's just, you don't have, you know, there's not that many out there. So uh, thank you for watching this. This is something that I really enjoy today. It's something that combines my two passions, uh, collecting and my passion for uh, for books, so uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so uh, it is a double whammy. So I'm very happy with that. So I would say thank you for watching. Please stay in, uh, keep in tune, uh, keep in tune with my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you know, leave your comments below and take care, my friends. I'll see you on the next review. Peace out.